You've probably heard by now that NASA scrubbed a test of its massive space launch system moon rocket. The agency canceled the August 29th launch after a series of issues, including engine trouble. The recent setback joins a long list of delays for what NASA describes as the most powerful rocket ever built. This is a brand new rocket. It's not going to fly until it's ready. There are millions of components of this rocket and its systems. Uh, and uh, needless to say, the complexity uh, is daunting when you bring it all into the focus of a countdown. The ultimate goal of NASA's Artemis program is to return humans to the moon for the first time in half a century. The agency bills Artemis as a stepping stone toward deeper space travel, including to Mars and beyond. Artemis 1 will be an uncrewed lunar voyage carrying test dummies. Artemis 2 will carry people. NASA has rescheduled the Artemis 1 launch for Saturday, hardware and weather permitting. Engines full power. Meanwhile, private spaceflight company SpaceX has sent more of its Starlink satellites into orbit. According to officials, this batch of 54 joins a constellation of satellites that provide high-speed internet to underserved parts of the world. And lift off. SpaceX followed that launch days later with this one Tuesday from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. On board the company's Falcon 9 rocket were another 46 Starlink satellites. After completing its seventh mission, the reusable booster touched down on a landing pad in the Pacific Ocean. Also this week, in 1983, Guyon Bluford Jr. became the first black astronaut in space blasting off aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger. Bluford was one of 35 candidates NASA chose in 1978 from a crop of 10,000 applicants. He flew several missions for NASA, including the agency's 22nd mission of its Space Shuttle program. That mission still holds the record for most people on a single space flight at eight. It was Challenger's final trip before exploding after takeoff in 1986. Today, Bluford is 79. Finally this week, the European Space Agency is finishing a satellite it says will provide crucial climate information to researchers on Earth. Its key technological component, a P-band radar that monitors large wavelengths, would be the first time such forest monitoring technology has gone to space. Scientists say the biomass satellite will give them insight into how much carbon is stored in forests as humans cut or burn them down. COVID-19 pushed back a lot of their work, but scientists say they plan to launch biomass in 2023. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.